Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Pinnacle Combat 32 amateur fight. It's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First, fighting on the red corner, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, with no wins and one loss, from New Glarus, Wisconsin, Christopher Caps. And fighting out of the B2 Digital, Blue Corner, standing six foot five, 205 pounds, making his amateur debut from Hanover, Illinois, Blake the Rowdy Rooster Killer. Got his sponsors all lined up, everything, man. Uh, look look at his stance I'll, right here. Is this, I, was, this? I was watching that. That I, is interesting, isn't I, it? I would expect a fast start out of him. Yeah, I think yeah. so. <laughs> That, I, I've never seen that before, Chris. Uh, uh, this is a first. Those old 1920s films. You, you yeah, see that quite often. Put him up. Put him up. Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> we got here. Right in the kitchen. He's kisser. hopping up. Guys, I'll stay down. I'll stay down. All day. That came out of left field right there. A lot going on here. We got some guys settled down. Yeah, these guys are going to burn themselves out. Pulling on the shorts right there. And, and you can tell right here the first fight for one of our competitors right there. He just it takes a minute to get a feel for what's going on out there. You can tell he hasn't had the experience, or it doesn't look like he's had too much really in the realm of sparring. Well, it's starting to slow down now, so we gotta, you know, one of these guys is gonna have to figure this out and kind of. Oh, and the bum rush right there. These guys I look like how he retreats. Tired. Well, you know, when you're holding your breath and you're, you're, you're kind of going all in like that, you're going to have an adrenaline dump, which is kind of what you're seeing right now, which is why when you see beginning guys, why they need to have a little bit of patience you know, before you start going all in like that. Well, this is the thing, man. You know, when you're training and you don't have the experience in the cage, it's really, really difficult to simulate how you're going to feel in a fight. You know, in the training room, nobody's watching. There's nobody yelling. You know, everything flows smooth. But, you know, when you're getting live bullets tossed at you, it's, it's a little bit different. I mean, and I, I'm, well, I mean, I'm just a little surprised by just how tired you got these guys in well, a minute and a half time. What, what I think it is, Chris, is, you know, like, you, you saw the bum rush, and, you know, if there's a learning lesson here, it's they're holding their breath. I mean, and look, I mean, you know, you know you Cap right now has his mouth wide open, mouthpiece yep. sticking out. He's so, a good way to get your jaw broke. Well, it's, and he's doing mouth breathing. Like, the best bet right now is nasal breathing. And, and, and that leading right hook is very interesting because it's not he, – uh, he, he's rearing back with it. It telegraphs it. Blake Cowell needs to really work on throwing straighter punches. Well, it's going to be interesting to see when this goes to the ground. You can't be turning your back to the, uh, the audience as well. I think the referee is Tyrone Roberts, old school mixed martial artist. Man, yeah. yeah. Old school guy. He fought uh, one of your buddies, Chris Reggie Strickland, at a boxing match. Really? Who hasn't fought Reggie yeah, Strickland? I know, right? <laughs> There's an awful lot of spinning around and turning going on here. He is the uh, nephew of Andre Roberts. Yeah, the, one of the largest <laughs> MMA uh, anyone ever to enter the UFC cage. Well, now these guys are clearly gassed as we can see, but it's all about who can maybe get a shot in because they're both trying to time out some shots, aren't they, guys? Well, they are, and you know what? Like, if you're the corner people, like if you're the corner, you, you gotta you gotta sit your guy down, and you gotta just really just gotta stop. Calm him down. Yeah. Let's let's figure this out. Yeah, both of them really gassed right now, but this is a good opportunity, as you said, Mike, to gather yourself to re-employ some sort of game plan, right? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. It, you, you can, like we talked about, you can just tell just the, the inexperience level right here. And, and this is what it takes. So sometimes you have to have a fight like this. And you have to go back to the drawing board, go back to your, your, your gym, go back to your training, and be like, OK, now I understand. Because you can say whatever you want, but you don't know until you actually know. Experience is everything. And, and if we were to give credit where credit's due, they're at least matched evenly. 
Yeah, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Good point. Good you, point. You've got two guys that are still trying to feel it out. And, yeah, yeah. You know, when you're going through the fight in your head at some point, this is probably not the way they either of them envisioned it. But now it's, come on, pull it all together. We're here now. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we, we got to we gotta figure well, out what and, and that is one thing we're trying to do with, uh, with the B2 is, is beginning to end, you know, uh, starting with people. With your first fight, you know, becoming a good amateur, then becoming a pro, and then becoming a high-level pro. So yes. that's what we're trying to do here. We're giving people opportunities, and, and we'll go from there. In the second round, I'd like to see Blake Kellogg stay with that rear kick that he's been throwing, touch the body a little bit, and maybe Chris Capps uh, work from that clinch and the, try to get him on the I think the Rowdy Rooster is going to come out and surprise everybody this second round. That's what I think, Eric. A little body kick. Well, he's certainly got the reach. Yeah, he's not really utilizing it. Though. Uh, he's he very tentative hands right too, a little bit. It's not so he, much. He, uh, he rears back with that. Ooh. He rears back with that right hand and then tries to <laughs> tries to throw the right hook himself. Uh, Chris Camps landed a solid body shot, kind of backed out, and you know, it's if it's something he's going to land again, he's, he's got to kind of go in right after. Well, when he lands, he needs to follow it up with more shots. Yeah, he's, exactly. got, he's got a window, and he's got a. Window of opportunity, there it is. There it is. You know, and he that, just keeps look, looking over to his corner. I've never seen somebody be able to look over <laughs> the corner like that in the middle of a fight. Usually other people try to hit you or kick you. Yeah. yeah. Good idea to keep your eyes on the guy who's trying to take your head off. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you know, he keeps looking at the ground whenever uh, Kellogg approaches. It's a good way to get kicked in the face. But, but I, I'm amazed at how many times Kellogg just turned around himself and ran away. You know, it's just, he's getting a, I, I hear, see Kellogg's corners are standing up and yelling at him right now. They are not happy with what's going and on. They are roostered out in his corner too, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he would do a lot more damage if he kicked with his shin and not try to like dig his toes in when he throws like a roundhouse kick. Well, well, it's almost Perhaps like Chris is, on it's, it's almost like a Taekwondo stance, I think is what we're seeing. And you know, uh, you know, Blake Kellogg, whenever he's turning his back, it's kind of a, that's, that's a perfect good opportunity to jump on him rather than back off. And, and what did I say? I, I said, I said Blake Kellogg was coming right this round. And uh, Caps lost his mouth guard. You see how Caps is in, in trouble. Kellogg is just pouring it on him right now. The only problem is how much gas is left in the tank. I think they're on fumes right now. Oh, we see a cut. And it's on nitrous, brother. These, these guys are kicking it into the next gear. Now Kellogg smells blood. Let's see what he does. I'm not sure who he's looking at. There's so many in the audience. <laughs> Pointing at his girlfriend. Man, dude, he's calling that home run shot. This one's for you, baby. <laughs> Uh, he's got to. So he, he's got to dig in. I mean, you're here. You're in a fight. Uh, Robert should be warning him. Uh, yeah. Uh, in regards to turning his back to the opponent. Ooh, he's definitely uh, disengaging from the belt. <laughs> but we are dealing with two first timers. I think. Oh, well, I think the, the Rowdy Rooster might be on one. Well, it looks like we're going to make it to the third round, guys. This is a war of attrition. This must be I've the longest it, uh, six minutes of these, these guys' lives. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I, I got it. And mine. One to and one. mine. <laughs> <laughs> I got this uh, scored one to one right now. It's super difficult to score this fight. I would give it uh, Chris Caps just because Kellogg is disengaging from the bout. Every time he approaches, he turns and runs around the cage. Yeah, and the what body he's kicks to do are is pretty. He's trying to do like a yeah. Jersey Joe walk out. He's trying to lure him in and catch him. That's right. And catch him on a step. It's strategic. It's strategic. He's going to turn yeah. and get him. Oh, this is a very unique fight. I don't even know what to say at this point. Jeez, this is. Uh, yeah, this fight's up for grab, my friends. I, I, this I mean, is a tough you, one to judge. How would you like to be the judge here? Uh, you got a quarter? It's a coin flip. <laughs> exactly. I'm rock, paper, scissor for this one. <laughs> Uh, I'm predicting, I think somebody's going to get stopped in this round. I don't know who, but I think somebody's going to get stopped. Yeah, you got Chris Camps bleeding. You got the Rowdy Rooster sitting on his uh, <laughs> sitting on his stool. I will say this about Caps. Every time he goes in and makes a decision to go, he's throwing in flurries and in combinations 
I think someone's just got to push through. Right. Yeah, and and you know? that's what I see. I, I, that's where I see Cap's it, it, his biggest benefit. And as he's doing that, the Russo's turning and running, but he can follow that up and just stay on him. He can land a punch. He can end the fight. Well, it is Look rare. at those intense eyes oh, from the Rooster. He, is, he, sees he is focused with the uh, stand-up hammer fist. Chris, have you seen that reverse right hook yet? I'm looking. Did he just throw it? I thought he did. There it is. Oh, you got to watch mm -hmm. the back of the head. There. Yeah, Rooster smashing him, brother. Oh, the rear naked choke possibility. Take now it down. Now it comes with a takedown. Now down. we're going to see some ground oh. game. Wow. We saw a little... Grabbing and the cage by Kelly Rooster there. is in mount. Well, he's mounted. He's uh, got his going for the rear naked choke right now. I wonder how much that fence grab affected where they landed on that takedown. Yeah, he is going for the choke. He's got one hook oh, in. Caps ain't going easy though. No, no. he ain't no. But punk. he ended up in a terrible spot. He's gonna get his butt up and go out the back door. Good job, Chris Caps. He needs to straighten those legs out right now. But and the rooster what? is flattening him out, man. We are looking at some high-level jujitsu. Yeah, he gets the tap. What did I tell you guys? Fight was not gonna make it the distance. Well, the rooster pushed through, man. You know what that means? We got another run of them T-shirts that he came in his corners are wearing right now. They're gonna do another run of them for his next fight. It's a dope shirt, dope uh, logo. Hell yeah, bro! He's got the gold chain, everything. Oh, he's iced out. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> flex. That's what I'm talking about. Here's a little bit of a replay showing how good job right now by Blake to flatten him out. Got the hooks in right now, and once he gets the hooks out and flatten them out, there's really no way to get out of that rear naked choke. It's extremely difficult, especially when you're flattened out. You have a choice. That's what I refer you to. You want to get choked out or you want to get punched out? Yeah, and he's got that world-class squeeze going with his knees on his on his hips, and you know that that's just pressure, Chris. And with well, pressure comes diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Um, Perhaps in the rough right now, but eventually. It's a blood diamond. <laughs> All right, let's send it to our ring announcer, Dean Michael, once again. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tyrell Roberts calling a stop to the fight at one minute, seven seconds into the third round. Your submission, rear naked choke. Your winner, Blake the Red.